Hello. Looks like you're ready to beat another classic NES title. Castlevania. Ready? The first screen is really easy. You just pick up this big chain whip and these hearts. Hearts you say? More on this later. You also want to grab this knife. It's okay if you take a little damage off these zombies. But don't forget to pick up this longer whip. And try not to get hit from behind by these glowing red dogs. Now go up here. Make sure to line up your foot with this block. Now you want to get hit by this bat. Now you can grab the stopwatch sub weapon. Oh yeah. After picking up the stopwatch. You can boost off this bat like this. It's okay if you miss the bat. You just go down here. Now you can just jump across the platforms without falling in the pits filled with water. This screen is important. So jump off this block and whip this zombie in the face before grabbing the invincibility sub weapon. Now you want to jump up here and get on the stairs like this. When the giant bat flies at you, just use the time stop and whip the shit out of the bat. If the bat escapes the corner, you just freeze time again and jump and keep whipping the shit out of the bat until the fight is over. But try not to give the giant bat any hugs or you'll die. Oh yeah. If you want to try an instant kill on the bat, you can go for this frame perfect trick. But good luck with that. On to the next stage. Stage 4 and we are climbing up staircases. You'll want to stop and take out this bat. Now you can just hold left and jump over this armored knight enemy. Make sure to jump immediately after going through this door so you don't get hit in the face by a flying medusa head. Now you want to pick up some hearts before you get to the end of the screen. Swing your whip like this so you can boost off this tiny flying medusa head. Watch out! There is health here. Now use your time stop and go under these spiked crusher things while picking up the holy water. But don't do this. It's bad. So instead, keep holding left and you can boost off this bat. Now you can just jump over this dragon bone cannon thingy. These cannons might shoot at you from behind. When you get to this screen, you want to hold left and make sure to grab a few of these hearts before getting to the Medusa boss fight. To kill Medusa, throw the holy water at Medusa's head. And just keep whipping the shit out of the Medusa head until she dies. Onto stage 7. Make sure to grab this double shot power up at the beginning of the screen. It's okay if these skeleton things jump over you. You can just turn around and whip them in the face like this. Watch out for this bone throwing enemy. This screen is hard. So fall down here. And whip the bone throwing enemy in the face. Get on the staircase and take damage from the bird. Now you can whip this next bird before jumping down here and collecting the axe sub weapon. Jump and throw. Ouch. When you get to this screen, make sure to jump and throw your flying cross thing. Now wait here and throw your flying cross thing so you can whip the shit out of this dragon bone cannon. Throw your flying cross again and you can make your way to the end of the screen. Now jump and whip these birds. Now throw your flying cross thing again to clear out more of these dragon bone cannons. Make sure to kill these bone throwing enemies without falling in the pits. Remember it's okay to stop and whip the cannons in their bone faces. But don't get this knife. It's bad. Instead, pick up the double shot and go to the corner like this. Now you whip the shit out of the mummies and jump over the flying bandages. Phew. That was close. Oh yeah. If you have enough hearts and the triple shot, you can grab the health. And go to the other corner and do this. Hooray. Now we can go to the next stage. Stage 11 and we are falling. Swing the whip three times when you land. Now you can just hold right and jump on the moving platform while not falling in the pits. Make sure to pick up the holy water. 
Now whip the bat before jumping off this platform. You're gonna have to remember to duck after getting onto this next platform. Now you can duck again and make your way toward the end of the screen. This screen is pretty easy. You just swing the whip as the skeleton things hit the floor. It's okay if one spawns behind you. You just throw the holy water like this. Try not to take much damage as you make your way to the end of the screen. Keep whipping the skeletons. And make sure to throw holy water at this metal dragon thing. Now you can pick up the double shot before killing this other metal dragon thing. It's okay if you take a little damage from the dragon. But a better idea is to throw your holy water here. This will freeze the dragon so you can collect these hearts, the health and the triple shot before the boss fight. To kill Frank. Just stand in the center of this platform. And keep throwing the holy water and whipping the shit out of Frankenstein until he dies. Perfect. Let's continue. The first thing you're going to have to do is whip these skeletons in their faces. Then you can boost off the skeleton at the end of the screen. Try not to take damage from these bone-throwing enemies. Now jump over these red skeletons. And use your whip to clear out the rest of the screen. Get the health. After going through this door. Go up the staircase and throw holy water at the armored knight enemy. Now you can keep climbing the stairs and killing and jumping over the red skeletons. This part is hard. So throw your holy water like this and remember to get the hearts. Throw holy water again and keep whipping the shit out of the armored knight enemy. Now go down here. Stop and jump over these red bullets before whipping the dragon bone cannon in the face. Then you can go up here and take out the next dragon bone cannon. This screen is hard. So jump and throw holy water right before this column. Now hold left and throw holy water again at the center of this column. Onto the boss fight. To beat death. Just jump and throw your holy water like this. This will freeze death so you kill him without taking any damage. Hooray! Onto the last stage. Stage 16 and we are dodging giant bats again. Just jump over the pits and don't get hit by the giant bats. Make sure to throw your holy water like this. So you can pick up the stopwatch sub weapon. Okay. Time for the inspiring conclusion. Kill the bone throwers. Climb. More bone throwers. More climbing. Get the hearts. Stop time. Go down here. Stop time again. Turn around and whip this bird. Okay. Time for the final boss rush. To kill Dracula. Wait until he opens his cape. Then jump over the red bullets and whip Dracula in the face. Get the holy water. The boss will spawn right on top of you sometimes. So watch out for that. You can throw your holy water at Dracula like this if you're scared. Keep timing your jumps and whipping the shit out of Dracula. Okay. Final boss. To kill the cookie monster. Just throw the holy water to freeze the boss. Now you can jump and whip the boss in the face until the fight is over. Congratulations. You did it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.